Hey guys, before the video starts, I want to put a disclaimer that some of these games that are on the list are either confirmed to be released or rumored to be released. And some of these are probably not even going to come this year and maybe it will come next year. I will be using clips from their game and I will try to link their Discord server in the description. So with that being said, let's start the video. First on the list, of course, I will have to say Tales of Tenorio. It did. It was supposed to come out last year in 2023, but they needed more time and then I have a really firm release date. But now in 2024, we have a release date coming out in February 17th. Now, as you know, if you have seen around the channel, I am excited for the game to release. And I, it's not like I have posted a lot of videos on it because there's not a lot of things to post about it because it, all those could be put into one video. I don't know what time by the, this video is done at being edited and everything, but right now um, the, it's like February 2nd. The game is supposed to come in two weeks from now, from the time I'm recording this video, and I don't know what time this video has been edited and all that. Now, let me stop yapping and get to the point of what is Tales of Tenorio for the people that don't know what that is, what that is or what game it is based on. Um, the game is based on a on Pokemon, let's just say Pokemon, okay? It's more like a creature catching game. So you catch a creature and it's inspired and developed by also I think I've heard or seen that it's from the same developers for Pokemon Break Bronze, if you ever play that. I myself haven't really played that. I know some people have and some of my friends. Anyways, on the screen you should be able to see the starter. On the screen should be the fire starter. Then um, should be the water starter and the grass starter. Okay, on the screen should be the fire starter being a snake with wings and then the water starter. It's kind of a jester. And then of course we have the grass starter with clouds of galaxy around it looking a little cosmic-ish. Those are the three starters. The game is going to have mounts and so many things in their devlog that I can't read because it's so much I want to mention for the people that care about communities, for games communities, this community for Tales of Tenorio, some of the people are very talkative and friendly. It's not like your average anime discord server where people are trying to be mean and toxic to each other. The developers try to communicate with their community. Moving on to the next game. Holy War X. Now some of you may be asking, why is Holy War X in one of them? It's not like a lot was leaked or sneak peeked, like the combat of PvP and the mechanics and stuff like that. Well, my reasoning for it to be in the list after Tales of Tenorio is because of how good the models are and because it uses R15, I just don't like R6. It has more movement, more animation to the character. Also, you could customize your characters. That's pretty nice. There's going to be different races. It's based on Seven Deadly Sins. So there should be races consist of Angel, Demon, Elf, your average RPG MMO game. On the screen, you should be able to see a comparison they did that has an island, a boat, and a player. And you can see the size comparison between those three objects. It seems this is going to be islands. So I don't know know if it's gonna be like different islands with different levels and quests. The uh, Holy War X is also gonna have mounts. Some of the bosses look like they could be dungeon bosses. So that's gonna be a fun mechanic to have in the game. Anyways, let me stop yapping about Holy War X and talk about the next game. Next one on the list is Golden Peace from Golden Games. Now this is another One Piece game, but they, the developers themselves say they're going to add a different mechanic or add a different type of system to their game. There was other past leaks, but they switched Discord servers for some reason. But the one that they are currently using, I'll link that in the description below. But once you go to their Discord server and you go to Golden Peace, you could see all the other sneak peeks of transformations, models etc the reason i'm excited for this game is that some of these models are actually with npcs or transformation models etc seems like it's going to be more interesting more fun to play with your friends or alone in their discord server they say they're going to make the game come out in 2024 this year but we will see if that becomes true or not by the end of this year 
Of course, they have other games they're working on in their Discord server. You could see those, but the most one you could get most information from is Golden Peace. Next on the list, Rel Cs. Now it does use R6, something I don't mind but it's just i like r15 just because it has more animations like i mentioned before in the video but as you can see some of these weapons or outfits look actually really nice to customize with your character and it will be really nice to see how they're gonna implement fruits boats anything that's pvp or non-pvp they're gonna have mounts i just hope this is not gonna be a shinobi life 2 repeat i think they mentioned they wasted a hundred grand on the game they did a comparison as well again big landscape you're gonna be a small character probably fighting these big huge bosses moving on to the next game pocket anime now you probably have heard about it around it's gonna be a creature catching game another one but with anime characters so you could catch Whitebeard, you could catch Goku. This is also a game that's rumored to be coming out in 2024. People are excited for the game and they like the landscape and just overall, it's an anime game where you could catch your favorite anime character. I mean, you're gonna play that to catch probably Goku if he's your favorite character. For this game, it would be interesting to see how they would implement Super Saiyan. Will it be like an evolution or is it gonna be like a shiny or is it gonna be a different type of Goku? Just seeing that will be interesting. Should be able to see mostly the models and how like the typings, the defend and attack, what is better against what. And you'll be able to customize your character. Overall, it'll be interesting to see the game, how it plays out. Anyways, you reached the end of the video. If you actually liked the video, like, subscribe, turn on notifications, go to the description, follow all their social medias, all that stuff, share the video. Comment something random, show appreciation to the video, and I might do more of these. And I might just work on a different type of video on what games are coming out, which games are being developed, and I can make a video on that if you guys want me to. Oh, don't forget to buy our Roblox outfits. We have them in our Roblox group. Join our Discord server. Join all the people we mentioned, Discord server, etc. Anyways, thanks for watching. Until I see you guys next time, stay safe and take care.